I'm a trumpet coach for MJOMEF, and my pronouns are they and them. My name's Kevin, and I'm a trumpet player and teacher, and I'm also a coach with MJOMEF. Hey, Shan, do you know any jokes about trumpets? Yeah. What does a talented trumpet player and a pirate have in common? I don't know. What? They both hit the high C. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Shan, in our last video, we talked about the parts of the trumpet, a little bit of history of the trumpet, but also the positions for holding the trumpet. We talked about resting position and playing position and how to physically hold the instrument. So right now you're demonstrating the resting position with the instrument flat on your lap. Can you please demonstrate the option where you would rest the bell of the trumpet on your knee? Excellent work. That's really good. Thanks. Okay, so if you could just show us how you hold your trumpet in playing position. I see. Okay. So you've got four fingers above the third valve slide, and then the fingers of your right hand are resting on the buttons. Okay. Today we're going to talk about breathing for playing trumpet, embouchure, and tone production. Okay, let's talk about breathing for the trumpet. Breathing for the trumpet is not that different than normal breathing, but since trumpet is a very physical activity, we're gonna breathe through the mouth like doing any other kind of physical activity, like a sport or walking quickly. You might notice that you breathe through your mouth when you do those things. Any kind of physical activity, you're prone to breathe through your mouth. And it makes it a little bit easier to take in a large amount of air all at once. Okay, Shan, so let's try this breathing exercise to feel what a complete breath should feel like. So we're going to take our hands and we're going to form a circle shape. We're going to just imagine that we're breathing through this circle in our hands. We're going to place the hands in a circle on the throat. And we're just going to take three breaths, imagining that we're actually breathing through our throat. So I'll breathe, then you breathe. Now we're going to move the hands down to the chest, and we're going to imagine that we're breathing straight through the chest. And now we're going to move down to the belly button. And just imagine that the breath comes straight through your belly button and out through your mouth. So you might notice the change in feeling between breathing through the throat, through the chest, and then through the belly button. We want to have that complete breath all the way from the bottom to the top. So we can also imagine this like a wave from the ocean, breathing from the bottom and releasing through the top. It's a continuous motion. never pausing the breath, never holding the breath, and it should feel free and easy. It should actually make you feel a little bit relaxed if you do it frequently. If you get lightheaded, slow down, take a break. <laughs> now we're gonna talk about embouchure. So the embouchure is the shape of your lips when you play the trumpet. Okay, so how do you develop your embouchure? To develop the embouchure, you need your muscles here in the corners to be oh. tight, and your lips will actually be vibrating and loose. Uh, so like, if you make kind of a kissy face. Oh, a kissy face. Yeah. <laughs> and then, so that way you can feel your corners are tight, mm -hmm. but this part is really loose. Mm -hmm. And then if you blow air through it, you can make a buzzing sound. Okay. Yeah. Another way you can form an embouchure is if you uh, hum an M, so you go, mm, mm. and then you keep that position and you 
Blow air through your lips with a P sound. And then if you can get that buzz on your lips going, that is also a sign of a successful embouchure. Okay, so what's next? Next, we're gonna take it to the mouthpiece. So the mouthpiece consists of the top part, the rim, which is where you put your lips when you're playing the trumpet, and the shank, which is the part that goes into the trumpet itself, like this. Those aren't the only parts of the mouthpiece, but those are the most important parts for our purposes today. Yes. So, remember that embouchure you had? We're gonna take that and we're gonna put it to the test with our mouthpiece. So you can either try the kissy face and then put your mouthpiece against your lips and blow. <laughs> Whatever note comes out, whatever sound comes out is okay. You can also try with the humming technique. So make your hmm sound and hold that shape and then blow out of your lips with the P sound into the mouthpiece. <sighs> It's trumpet time! Woo! Okay, so now we've talked all about how to develop your embouchure, we've talked about how to breathe, and now we've had some time to make some sound on the mouthpiece. So now we're gonna actually insert the mouthpiece into the trumpet, and it is that moment of truth. We're not really gonna focus too much on what sound comes out, we're really just gonna explore the possibilities of what we can do with our breath. So we're gonna go to playing position. Breathe. It doesn't really matter what note came out, we're just going to continue to practice making sounds on the instrument in that way. So we're not going to bother with any buttons. For now, we're just going to focus on basic tone production, so we don't need to be distracted by any of the buttons. So playing position, breathe. You might have noticed that there was a higher note and a lower note. We're going to explore all the notes on the trumpet in another video.